First of all, I was going to talk about, look at all these Ram trucks, all right? Now, I know a lot of people probably looking at this video who don't know any better, and they're like, oh, man, look at all these hot shot trucks. I'm going to tell you this straight up. I'm looking at nothing that says hot shot. You're probably confused, like, but you guys drive a Ram. These are like Ram 1500s, okay? This may be the only thing that meets the criteria, these two right here, but these are like day cabs for the trucking world, for the hot shot trucking world. Um, you can run this if you want. I see a lot of people run this in New York. And if you want to run that, you can. Now, I don't know what the difference is between this one and what I have, but actually, no, you can't. I'm lying. I'm lying to you again. Look, this is a Hemi 6.4 liter. This is gas. I think this is gas. This is not even diesel. That's gas. <laughs> something on diesel i suggest going with 2500 because it does have the 6.7 cummins in it or i suggest going with the 3500 which has the 6.7 cummins in it here's the reality of it right now we're in a time where non-cdl i don't think is ever going to be the same non-cdl you're coming into the game limiting yourself from what cdl holders can do so i can carry 26,000 pounds or more you cannot if you get a 2500 with a decent trailer let's say you go with a 14 gn you may come in around 13, 14, maybe 15,000 pounds. You don't have that much room to play with to really get some real serious paying loads. And right now, I'm talking about, let's say 10 feet of space, 800 pounds. Those type of loads aren't paying as good as they used to. Of course, you're gonna find some here and there. That's like, Mwah. you feel what I'm saying? The chances of you finding that every day, every week, it's very rare. So the non-CDO world right now, in my opinion, I will never say you guys are hurting but I would definitely say right now, it's a struggle for you guys right now during this time of the year. Now coming into the springtime and summertime of 2022, I don't know what's gonna happen. I really don't know. Right now, I see what it is for non-CDL and it's not that great, but we do dispatch for two non-CDL trucks. They're not ours, somebody else's. And I'm gonna tell you the truth right now, as much as I love them, it's tough. They do make some money here and there, but it's tough. It's extremely tough. This is a non-CDL setup. This is the perfect truck if you're gonna do non-CDL. Is it gonna be easy with you? <sighs> Buddy, I really don't know what to tell you. Whoever's watching this video right now, you really wanna do non-CDL, you don't wanna to listen to me, you don't have to listen to me, but I'm gonna tell you how much this truck costs. This truck is a 2021 Ram 2500 Tradesman. It has a 6.7 Cummins in it, and see the transmission in it. It doesn't say what the transmission is. 51,000, I don't know if y'all can see it. So you're gonna spend $51,000 on a Ram. Now, I know a lot of people saying, hey man, that's not too bad, you know what I mean? That's, I could trade my car in and get one of these. Your note may be like maybe $1,000, maybe $900, something around that ballpark. Okay, fine, cool. But will this truck last you two, three years? I mean, it probably could if you took very good care of it, but then let's also talk about what's inside the motor. Do you have the right transmission? The ASIN transmission. If your dipstick is on the left side, then you have the wrong transmission. If it's on the right side, then you have the right transmission. I think I'm correct. <laughs> I don't know if the 2500s come with the ASIM transmission. I could be wrong, I don't know. But that's why I say go ahead and go with the 3500 and get the ASIM transmission. But if you're gonna go with the 3500 with the ASIM transmission, you might as well go get yourself a CDL because then your margin of GVWR or GCWR, 11 or 12 GWR truck, when you go to the 3500, it's a 14 GWR truck. The truck weighs like, you know, that's what it's governed for. Let's say uh, a 14 GN, your 14 plus your 14, what's that? That's not even right. You can't even run that. That's 28. So you can't even run that. That means that you need to find something that you have to derate it down. So you have to go find yourself a 14 GN trailer and then derate your trailer down some more. 
which I don't know how more you got to go down than a 14 GN. I don't know, but however they do it, they do it. I think they basically just swap out the axles and put smaller axles on the trailer. But like I said, what's the point of doing all that when you can simply go get your CDL? It's as simple as that, literally. Unfortunately, they don't have any, any of them on the lot. But if you can get yourself a 3500, you can get yourself a 3500. So that's just that one part of should you think about or consider doing hot shot in 2022. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, from my experience for the past two years with my dad, non-CDL is not the way to go. It's not the way to go. And when I say this, don't get mad at me for people who do have a non-CDL setup and they don't have a CDL. Don't get mad at me. I know a lot of people who have a non-CDL setup, but they still have a CDL. Why limit yourself? You know, why, why put yourself in a position where you're gonna have to fight? This, this hot shot trucking, if y'all don't realize, this is not to start no huge trucking company with. I mean, you could start here, and this is where you're gonna start, but you have to have the intentions to go up. You have to have the intentions to go get yourself a semi truck. You have to have the intentions to get more money. Because hot shot, you are working. You are fighting every single day. You're, you're, you're fighting. It's a fight. You gotta get up and go run and go get your money. You gotta get up and go punch somebody in the mouth to go get your money, you gotta work. You can't decide, okay, I'm good, let me take three weeks off. No, it don't work like that. Because just like I said, you bought that $50,000 truck, $18,000 for a 14 GN trailer. You're about to spend 70, 80 grand on a truck, on a setup, and it's non-CDL. Now, let's get to the other part of the video that that I know very well. DOT, they are on a mission to get you. Everybody that's coming into the game, non-CDL, CDL, whatever, into the Hot Shot games, DOT is watching that. DOT has physically told us, me and my dad themselves, it's easier to inspect you versus trying to inspect a semi truck or something else. It's easier to come after you because nine times out of 10, I'm gonna find something wrong with you because a lot of guys who come into the Hot Shot game don't know any better about certain rules. It's easier to inspect you because it's only gonna take 15 to 20 minutes. So it's easier to inspect you versus inspecting a semi truck. That's just reality. Now I know this too well because in my beginning stages, I thought I could put light bar on my truck. I thought I could have whatever tin on one on my truck. I thought I could do whatever I wanted to do to my truck and I didn't care about certain rules because I felt like they didn't apply to me. I felt like I was doing everything else. I felt like I was legal. My EOD was straight. There was one time where it was not straight, but that's unfortunate. You know, um, it was a situation where it wasn't reading properly. Back when I was in Pennsylvania, that was my first time dealing with DOT. Most horrible experience ever, but it is what it is. Got it on footage. You guys can go check out that video right there. DOT is going to mess with you, bro. So that's another thing. DOT will come after you. Something else I want to say, don't think that this is some get rich thing. It's not a get rich scheme. Hot shot to me is for the guy who doesn't want to work for anybody anymore. He wants to work for himself. He wants to make his own coin. Now, with that being said, you're not going to come out here and make millions of dollars. I mean, you could if you just got lucky and you just got like 10, 20, 30, 40 trucks and then it all just started booming. You had a, you had direct shippers, contracts, whatever. But when it comes to hot shot, to me, hot shot is for the guy who does not want to work for anybody anymore. He wants to work for himself. It's the same thing like working a nine to five, except it's a little bit worse because you're working 24 seven because it's your own personal business. But with that being said, you have to work. You have to work. It's better, and when I say this, it's better to me working a nine to five because it's a lot better here because you are in control of everything. You make your own schedule. Now, when I say you make your own schedule, you still have to be disciplined like you were at a nine to five. You still have to go to work. You can't get tired of this. You still have to go to work. Now, if you're one of those guys who got blessed and you bought everything in cash and you don't have that much overhead, then hell yeah, it's a lot more easier than the guys who do have overhead. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, you gotta pay for fuel. You gotta save up money for taxes. You gotta save up money for uh, a, a, a rainy day. What we call a rainy day is when something happens and you have to spend like four or $5,000 on a, on, a, on a bill because you're out there in the middle of nowhere. That's a rainy day. You have to pay yourself. You have to, uh, what else you gotta do? There's a lot of things that go into it, man. There's a lot of things that go into it. The money, it's, it's, you gotta be very disciplined to run a trucking business or any business at all. But a trucking business, money is going left, right, forward, backwards, up, down, right, left, right, right. And they may only come in so many ways, especially when you have a lot of overhead. But when you don't have that much overhead, it's a little easier for you, but you still have to put bills and put money here, here, here. Then you have to worry about when is my truck gonna break down? Not is it gonna break down, but when is it gonna break down? Because I'm gonna tell you guys a story right here. When I first got Tiffany, she ran, Tiffany's my white 3500. She ran straight for 20,000 miles, 20,000 miles. Then she broke down. 
And when I say she broke down, she didn't break down. She broke down down. She was down for like four months before I got her back. Then when we got her four months, she broke down again, and she was down for another month. Only had 20,000 miles on her. Now we're at 110,000 miles on the truck, and she broke down again. So that's the reality of trucking. You, you may get an unlucky batch when it comes to your truck. It's not that I was not taking care of her. I just got a, I probably got an unlucky batch because she hasn't been good since day one. Now, some folks have gotten really lucky that my dad or the other truck that we have on our fleet, we have gotten super lucky with that truck. But other than that, we're in a position now where we don't have to rely on one truck. We got three hot shots and we got two semi trucks. You feel what I'm saying? So our situation is a little different than the average person. But imagine if you got that one truck and you break down, what you gonna do? Imagine if you break down with that one truck, you got no CDL, what you gonna do? It's not like when you broke down, you can't go work with somebody else right quick and go make a couple of dollars so you can have some money coming in and then get your truck fixed. You feel what I'm saying? If you got no CDL, what can you do? I'm not trying to scare you or deter you, you know, deter you away from this or I'm not trying to do any of that. I, I'm, I'm really not. I'm just putting some facts out there for 2022. Let's not even get into the whole shortage that we got going on that people keep talking about. I'm not even talking about the drivers. I'm talking about food and everything that we got going on that people are not really paying attention to. Y'all know all them containers that's out there in the water, out there in California ports and stuff like that? If you go to the West Coast in certain stores, they don't even got water in there. They don't even got water in there. That's the reality. Parts. Let's talk about parts. It's hard to get parts right now. Right now they're talking about it's gonna take two, three weeks just to get some brakes for your truck. Probably longer than that. I don't know, I ain't, I ain't even talking about, I'm talking about like longer than that. I ordered a suspension kit for my truck. I'm not gonna get that till six, seven months from now. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, what else they got? Uh, oil filters are starting to become scarce. Oil that you need for your truck is starting to become scarce. Parts that used to cost $1,200 now cost $2,400. There's a lot of things that's going into this, to this. Man, when I tell you, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just being real, man. 2022 is a year where I really want a lot of you guys to think about this before you hop into this. Yes, there is money out here. Yes, you can make some money, but please think about this before you just come hop out here. It's not for everybody. That's the reality of anything. It's not for every single person out there. That's the reality of it. But the truth of the matter is, man, Yes, you can have fun out here. Yes, you can make some money out here. But right now, it is a little bit tougher than what it was two, three years ago. You got everything going on. But that's everything that's on back order. You can't get you can't get things like you used to be able to get them before. That's just the reality of it. You can't. non ceo is getting a lot tougher because brokers are out there. We haven't even touched on that sub subject. Brokers are not your best friend. They are not your friends at all. Now, some of them, you may find some really good ones that kind of like to you know share the wealth. But you're gonna find some brokers that are really, really gonna try to put your head in the dirt. That's just the reality of it. So I'm not trying to scare you, man. I'm just trying to bring you to the reality. I don't want, I don't want you to go, oh, Benny said not to do this. Nah, don't listen to me. Listen to yourself. Do the numbers, do the research. See if it's worth your time. See if it makes sense to you. Okay? Do the research. That researching is not watching me um, tall, uh, not, not tall guy. <laughs> <laughs> he just bought a semi truck, but me, um, Toe Piglet, um, you know, Hot Shot Haven is not watching Hot Shot Mac. It's not watching any of these other guys that we watch on YouTube every single day who do hot shot trucking or do, um, you know, whatever trucking, any type of form of trucking. That's not just research. You have to go above and beyond in that. Okay, you have to go above and beyond. Entre Mike, we know Entre Mike. He's real cool out there doing his thing. Uh, you know, JB Trucking. Um, Georgia Southern, you know Yusuf, all these people that we watch, look where they're going. Pay attention to their, pay attention to their career, pay attention to their path and do that research as well. Okay, do that research and see where they're going. A lot of guys are going to semi truck. Okay, and like I said, I'm not knocking non CDL, I'm just speaking facts here. Okay, 2022 is a new year. You feel what I'm saying? It's a new year. So where do you want to be in this trucking business? Because even though you're not CEO, you're doing a hot shot, you're still considered a truck driver. Where do you want to be in the next three to four years? Do you want to be rocking a semi? Do you want to be dispatching? What do you want to do? Do you want to get a feel for what it is to be out here? Like, what do you want to do? It's not all just about the money. This is a lifestyle. So do your research before you come out here. That's all I'm saying. Watch all those guys and then do your own separate research. Do your own separate research. Ask some questions. See if you can get one-on-one -on -one with somebody. Other than that, that's all I got to say. 
I'm about to go get my car. I think it just got done with the oil change. I love y'all. Y'all be safe, man. I had fun making this video. Like I said, 2022. Y'all tell me in the comments what you guys are going to do. And the other guys who are already doing this, drop a comment and tell me what you guys think should you be going People, people always be staring at me. What do you guys think? Should you guys, uh, should people be hopping into the hotshot trucking in 2022? Y'all let me know. Other than that, it's freezing cold out here. I'm about to go get my car. I'm done. Whoo. Whoo. Oh yeah, one more thing. To all my haters. <laughs> We run it up. All of these hoes that won't come with us. Sipping that dirty, she getting real sloppy. Staying high, now she living the dreams. On the pants with Magello on me. Jolly Ranchers miss it up with the lean. Johnny Dang, all my diamonds on fleek. Pop me a perk, and she think I'm a geek.